Thanks for joining us today as we take a look at a couple different ways to create configurations within SOLIDWORKS. And if you don't know what a configuration is, it's simply just a different iteration of your part within the same part file. And what do I mean by that? I'm going to open up my Configuration Manager tab over here. And if you notice, I have a formed and welded version of this. Well, if I take a look here, this is just a form tube, so hence the form version. If I activate the welded version, you notice I go to a welded plate instead. So again, a different iteration of the same part within the same part file. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Now to create a configuration, it's pretty straightforward. Simply right click, add configuration, give it a name, description if you want, etc. And simply hit OK. Now, whatever configuration is active at the time you create the new configuration is what this new one will be based off of. Hence, I had the form version active. That's why version 1 is a form version as well. Now, that's one way to create configurations. This is good if you have one or two ones that you want to go in and modify a few parts at a time. What we can do after is just come over in the SOLIDWORKS. We can suppress features such as this cut extrude right here. Maybe this battery holder will suppress, like so. When I switch between version 1 and form now, notice how my battery holder is here, but in version 1, it's not. That's the purpose of a configuration. So that's one method to create them. Another method is if I right-click on a feature and pick Configure Feature, this will automatically pop open a table for me. Now here is kind of the same thinking or methodology as the previous version. I'm going to suppress, unsuppress, change dimensional values for features. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and create version 2 now. So I'm just going to type version 2 in over here, hit enter, and if you notice, I now have a version 2 in my configuration manager. Version 3, version 4. So I can quickly create multiple configurations here. And it's a simple matter of coming in, suppressing, unsuppressing features. If I want to modify sketches, it's simple enough. I can come in here, double click on a sketch. I can either suppress the entire sketch, or if I double click on dimensions, it actually adds them to the list here, and then I can change those dimensional values as well, really taking control of my design. Simply come in here, give it a name, configuration table for example, save it, we can just hit OK, and now at any point in the future, I can come back and get into that table and further manipulate my models. Two different ways to create configurations. We have a third called design tables, which is a little more involved than this. But as a start, hope you got something out of this and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for joining us.